welcome back to Simple C10. And on today's episode, we're gonna install these dog dish hubcaps onto our transport wheels. So a lot of people see my trucks and they ask, how do you get those hubcaps onto those transport wheels? And the quick answer is something called cap clips. Over the years, I've tried a lot of different cap clips. I've ordered some from different companies. I've ordered some from Amazon, tried to install them myself. And at the end of the day, some companies were great and some not so good. And then if you try to order them yourself and install them, the Amazon clips are at the different angle and it doesn't really secure your hubcap on there that great. It doesn't come with a template. There's not a do it yourself video like you're watching now. So what I wanted to do is make it simple. So after trying a bunch of different cap clip versions, the version I like the most is close to the Detroit steel wheel version. So with that specific clip, what I did is I made my own template. My cap clip version and template is gonna be different than any of the ones that are available on the market currently. But I wanna say this, there's a lot of great companies out there making cap clips. So I just wanna show you the template here and some of the stuff that comes in the kit and some of the things that you're gonna to need to install these. Whenever you order simple clips, it's gonna come with this template. And as you can see, there's five different points. We're gonna cut this out along the dotted line here. And then we're gonna fold these little tabs up and that will help us have a guide around the lip of the wheel to get everything centered. In the kit, you're also gonna get a drill bit and the tap. You're gonna get 20 clips, 20 washers, and 20 flange head bolts. Again, this is pretty simple. You're just gonna cut out the template, lay it on the wheel, and you're gonna mark where all the holes are that's gonna need drilled, and then you're gonna just tap the holes. Then you'll install the clip with the washer and the bolt. Something I like about my template is whenever you cut this thing out and you lay it on the wheel, it's easy to get it centered because of the different tabs here. And also you can mark exactly where you need to drill the hole without trying to push the template down to the contour of the wheel. Because the wheel kind of goes down a little bit. So with the paper templates, when you're trying to push down and then if you have a hole that you're trying to make a mark through, then it's really hard to get it accurate. This template is also made out of cardstock. So it's a thick template. It's not gonna rip up like paper. So whenever you cut this out, it's gonna be solid when you lay it down to the wheel and not have a lot of flex to it. And I'll show you that when we install it. A few of the other things that you're going to need that aren't included in the basic kit, one of these tap T-handles, and then you're going to need some kind of metal cutting lubricant. Whenever you bought this kit, you may have seen the option to add on a T-handle and tap magic, and if you did that, that's going to give you everything that you're going to need to install these. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut the template out. You're gonna need a drill to do your drilling. A pair of gloves so you don't get those metal shavings all in your hands. Some paper towels to clean up your mess. You're also gonna need a ratchet with a 5 16 socket for the bolts. So this is the look we're going for. We want this hubcap to sit on the wheel exactly like this. And currently, you can see that there's nothing that's gonna hold this on there. That's where the cap clips come in. So we're gonna drill the hole, we're gonna tap the hole, and then we're gonna bolt in those clips, and then we'll be able to pop this on there, and we've got hubcaps. So I designed this whole template on my computer, and as you can see, I have designed and printed probably about 40 of these templates. I took a lot of time to get this template perfect, and that's to make sure you don't run into any problems. I wanted to make it simple, so I took the template and I tried it on my own wheels first, and then I adjusted the size of the template up and down and the different options that you have to make sure whenever you install these, it's a perfect fit. It may stress you out a little bit to think about putting a template on there and drawing where you need to drill holes and drilling in it and all that kind of stuff but I want you to know with the template and everything that I provide, you can have confidence that you're gonna get this right. And also the clips have a little bit of forgiveness in them. So if you were to happen to make the holes a little bit small, you can always bend out the clips. And if you make it a little bit too big, you can squeeze the clips a little bit to get the perfect fit. But this should get you where you need to go without any adjustment to the clips. That's my goal to this, is that when you drill the holes and you tap everything in, that you can just pop your hubcap in and not have to make any adjustments. The first step is cutting out the template. 
we're gonna cut on the outside of that dotted line all the way around, and then we're gonna lay it on our wheel. So we've got the template cut out, and now what we're gonna do is just fold these over just like that. You don't have to fold them all the way down. We're just gonna fold these like that. That way, whenever we lay this in the wheel, we can use this to line up with the contour of the wheel. So all we're gonna do is lay that template in here. These little fold lines, you can see is right along where the contour of the wheel is. So you can push down on these and just get a good eye on it. And whenever you're looking at the wheel, you can see kind of where the line is that goes around. That's gonna help you get everything centered onto the wheel. So now that we have the template on there, what we're gonna do is mark everywhere that that arrow is. And what I love about this template is you can see it lays flat down, it's on card stock, so it's not bending like paper does, and it's given us exactly where to mark on the wheel. Some of the other templates that you have go all the way to the outside, then you're trying to push down on the paper or make a mark through the paper, and it's never perfect. With this laying directly on there, you're gonna make a mark right where that arrow touches the wheel. Let's go ahead and make our marks. It's another good thing, when you remove this, it doesn't damage it. You can hold on to this forever exactly how it is. Since you're not marking through the template, you're not ever damaging the template at all. Next, we're gonna get our drill bit out from our tap and drill set. So what I like to do is go around and just make a mark with my drill bit on each one of those marks and then come back and then we can install our metal cutting lubricant and begin to drill the holes. Okay, now that we have those marked, we can go in and put just a little, little bit of this metal cutting lubricant in here. Like that right there. There's the first hole. That lubricant helps out a ton. So if you haven't bought your kit yet, if you wanna add on the tap magic and the T-handle, I totally think it's worth it. grab some paper towels just wipe those cuts off I wouldn't worry about getting the wheels perfect because when we start to tap them it's gonna get some shavings and stuff we just want to kind of clear out around those holes just a little bit now we're gonna grab our tap from our tap and drill bit kit and we're gonna install that on the T handle and how you do that is you're just gonna clamp that on. Now, if you have one of these at home, it may look different than this one. If you don't have one of these at home and you haven't bought your kit, you can add in one of these with the tap magic on there. So now what we're going to do is put a little bit more of that lubricant on each one of these holes and we'll tap the holes. So whenever you go to tap these, what we're going to do is we're going to twist until we feel some pressure and then we're going to back up. And when you back up, these little grooves will clean out the hole. So when it gets pressure, that means that there's shavings down in the hole. So we're gonna go backwards, go around till it gets tight, back, tight, back, and we're gonna go all around and do all the different holes. So just take your time with this. Remember, you only do this once, you only get one shot until you break a tap. Then you gotta get a whole other one, run to the store, stop what you're doing, and that's a pain in the butt. So. Let's go ahead and, and take our time, get these tapped correctly, install our clips, and put these hubcaps on here.
Next step is installing the clips onto the transport wheels. And as you can see here, you can see the design is different than most of the cap clips that you see. Very similar to a VW clip or something like that, but the ones that you order from Amazon, the clip goes backwards and it doesn't work on these wheels without bending it and trying to shape it to where you need. These work great because this little angle is straight up. This washer goes on here like this. And when you bolt this down, this washer is gonna add more pressure to the front of the clip to keep it from bending backwards when you pop the clip on there. So that's how everything stays. You could put some 242 thread locker on these whenever you go to install it. I know some people that have used other kits in the past, the bolts have come loose. I haven't had that happen yet, but you can't go wrong with a little thread locker as long as it's a removable kind. But all we're gonna do is put the bolt on there we're gonna slide this in here. You'll see that there's a little bit of pressure there and that's what you want. Whenever you bolt it in, you want that washer adding pressure to the clip. So whenever you're installing these, you don't wanna to put too much pressure on the bolt. Get it where it's really tight, but not where you have to add force to get it on there. You don't wanna break off one of these bolts if you do, I'll tell you what to do about that later on when I go over troubleshooting. Now we've got all the clips installed on there. You can see they kind of go right up to the edge. That's right where it needs to be. And all we're going to do is apply some pressure down on it. And that's it. Clipped right in. It's on there really tight. Like I can't even, I can't even move that around. Like it's not moving anywhere. With some of the other cap clip companies, what I see is kind of that hub cap will move around a little bit. But that's what I love about the design it will put you exactly where you need it to go. And when it clips on, it's on there. It's not going anywhere on there right now. So you may be wondering, man, if it's on there that good where you can't even move it around, then how do you get the thing off? The best thing to have is like a little plastic wedge or something that's not metal, but I don't have a plastic wedge. So I'm just gonna use this screwdriver just to show you how to get it off. And all you're gonna do is put it in between the lip and the wheel and it comes off that easy then you go to clip it on again whenever you go to pop these on you want to lay it on there evenly around and add pressure and clip it on and you know just to test i'm putting my full pressure at different points to see if it moves or if it doesn't it holds it on there super well and it also comes off super easy. That's why I love this kit. All these stay where they're at. I never had to adjust any clips. You're seeing it live. Installed it on there, popped it right on. It came right off. I didn't adjust it at all. Now I wanna go over some of the common issues that I had while installing cap clips and kind of give you on the front end how to fix those so you're not trying to figure it out. If you get these installed and you go to put your hub cap on and it's just hard as heck to get this thing to click in there, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab some of these and squeeze, squeeze that tighter on each one just a little bit at first, just a little bit to squeeze it. Maybe there's a little bit too much pressure that the hubcap can't click on there. Go ahead and squeeze it in, then it should click on there. If it doesn't, you can squeeze a little bit more. If you've squeezed as much as you can squeeze, the next option is to push back, push back onto each clip. That will make 
the radius of this a little bit smaller so you can get it to click on. Hopefully this kit is not gonna need any adjustment, but just in case it does, that's how you do it. You squeeze these clips or then you bend them back a little bit to make it smaller. Okay, so let's talk about the opposite of that. You get all these installed on here and you, this thing doesn't even click on, it just kind of goes on there and it's, it's loose. It's loose on there, what do you do? You do the exact opposite of what I said. What you're gonna wanna do is get behind the clip like this and you're gonna bend that clip out so there's more pressure out. You're gonna make the clip wider and go through and make all of them wider just a little bit and then see if it clips on there and it's tight. If it's not tight, the second step that I had mentioned, then you're gonna push out on all the clips. That will make the radius a little bit larger. That way it can get on there. That's just in case, maybe you're watching this and you've got some old cap clips that have those issues. That's how you would fix them. The next issue you might run into is when you go to tighten these up, you get a strong arm and you just snap this thing off. So what do you do if you snap it off? So you just drill a new hole right beside it, tap it, get a new bolt, 1032, and then bolt this in, and hopefully that'll fix your problem. I've done that before. Don't feel bad if you do it, it happens. So just say you're installing these and you're bending these out, you didn't get something right, and you keep bending these back and forth and one of them breaks. What do you do? Well, just reach out to me. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're watching this video and you're wondering if your hubcaps you have currently fit on this, what I would do first is measure. This is what these caps were made for. Some of the hubcaps that you may have on the backside, it may curve in and be smaller on the inside. There is a fix for that. As you see on the picture on the screen, you can cut out around the edge of that hubcap and make it the same as a dog dish and then install it directly on the wheel. If you're running anything smaller than a 10 and a quarter like a dog dish is, then this cap clip's not gonna work for you. I don't have a template for that yet. I'm looking into options for that, but right now, all we can do is this type of hubcaps. If you're wondering where to get dog dish hubcaps, maybe like the one I had on No Association and Black Dice, you can click my website, it's in the description, and go down to step number 11 is transport wheels and you'll see a video for the cap clips you'll see a link for the clips themselves and the dog dish hubcaps so go ahead and check that out and get everything you need to have your wheels looking awesome 